Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a target line for a spark line. Now for those of you that are not familiar with the spark line, it's basically a very small graph. The spark line concept was conceived of by uh, Edward Tufte, a visualization uh, guru. He had originally conceived of it in, back in the 80s. And I have other videos on how to create a spark line, uh, both as a graph that you can just put onto the grid or using the spark line creation capability inherent in Excel. Uh, earlier versions of Excel didn't have that capability, but I believe it first started out with uh, Excel 2010 where you had that inherent capability to create these in-cell little uh, graphs. So the concept of creating a target line in a spark line, there was no real way to do that. So unlike a traditional uh, chart where you can chart in Excel, uh, you can have a combination chart where you can put two different lines on a chart and they have a different axes, one on uh, y, axis no y axis number one and the other one on y axis number two. There's not really that concept in a spark line, but you can get around that and there actually is a workaround that you can do to simulate that effect. And you see here in this example, we have a target of 40, which is this line, and we have this line here, this line chart, this really mini line chart, this spark line, that rep represents these different points. And of course, the one that uh, met or exceeded the target is this May data, which is above here. So it kind of visually represents uh, this particular trend with one point going above the target. Now I got this idea, this con this idea about how to create a pseudo target line in a spark line graph from uh, a blog blog post uh, by Stephanie Evergreen. So if you ever want to check out a great uh, data viz guru, go ahead and uh, Google Stephanie Evergreen and see what she's got. So let's see how we can go ahead and do this. Let me copy this. I'm gonna copy this range of data. Control C to copy. Open up a create a new sheet here. Paste. And I'm also going to copy the headers from here. I'm going to copy uh, this header, these two headers, control C to copy, and then control V to paste here. Right, and I'm going to double click, select this whole worksheet, double click the border here to auto fit this, and make this a little bit bigger so uh, we can see this a little bit better, maybe 140. So to create a spark line, all you need to do is go under insert and under the spark lines group, I'm going to insert a line. Now it's going to ask me where my data range is. And if I select over here, it will give me my data range. Click OK. And I have a spark line. So that's a very easy way to be create a spark line. How do we create that target line? So if I put my target, if I use that target that I had 40, how do I create that? As you saw before, when I went under the spark line, let me go under design. And if I go to edit data, there's let me go edit data here, edit sparkline data. There is no other date range or data range we can use to create that. So let me go ahead and cancel this. What we really need to do is we need to simulate that target line. And the one way to do it is to use the x-axis line to do that. Now you don't see it there, but when you really think about it, the x-axis is the borderline right below here, right? It's the horizontal line and there's a y-axis that goes up and down that tells you, uh, it tra charts out these values and there's the x-axis below. So we're going to simulate an x-axis using uh, the target line as our basis. What we can do is I'm going to copy this, control C to copy, bring it over here, control V to paste, and I'm going to, actually I don't need this name here so I'm going to delete that. Select that, right click, and delete. And this January to June data is going to mimic uh, this January data, but it's going to offset it by 40. So what I'm going to do is type equal, select on that, and then minus this target 40. So I'm going to do that for all the data here from uh, January to June. So it's going to offset by 40, right? But I want to make sure that uh, each of these values, B2, when it copies over here, that becomes C2 and this becomes L2, but my target value, the I2, stays the same. I'm going to turn that into absolute cell reference. Press the F4 key. It's going to put a dollar sign in front of the letter and the number. Press Enter, and you know, notice that it's minus 17. So it's, ba it's basically 23 minus 40, which gives me 17. I'm going to drag the fill handle over to June, and it's going to copy that formula. So you notice now if I go to February, it's C2, this, this data here, 
minus the target, all right? March data, which is D2, which is 12, minus 40, right? So that gives me minus 28. The chart that, that it's going to represent is going to be the exact same chart. It's going to have the same flow as that. Now, to prove that, let me put a spark line here. Insert, and I'm going to insert a spark line. And my data range is going to be this data range. Click OK. So I'll just Control C to copy that header, Control V to paste. Let me double click that to fill it out, to auto fit uh, this column. And you'll notice that it's the exact same thing. So I only need one spark line graph, so I'll just go ahead and delete this, right click and select delete. And I'm going to go into this cell and I'm going to change the axis. So under design, if I go to axis, I'm going to select show axis. And right now you don't really see anything. And that's the, re the reason why you don't, because I'm showing it, the x, -ax the x axis is, is at the bottom. And, and what I mean the axis is at the bottom is the axis is starting at zero. So what we need to do is these values are under zero, or most of them. What I can do is change the reference for the uh, axis. So I'll go under Edit Data, go to Edit Sparkline Data, and my source is going to be this source now. All right? Click OK, and now you notice that that line appears. And the reason why it appears is that this line represents zero, right? It, it doesn't represent not negative 17, doesn't rep represent negative 13, doesn't represent 12, it represents zero. So we've uh, offset zero and pushed it up. You'll notice that if I have this value under zero, if all these values are under zero, that line will not show up anymore. So let's say, for example, I turn May, I make that 39, right? That value disappears because the x-axis is on is zero. And what happens is if you select, if you have your values under zero, it won't show up. Right here, if I go to access and I do show access, it's going to tell me the reason why. The horizontal axis appears if the sparkline data has data that crosses the zero axis, right? Now, if some of our data, if all our data are under zero and our target is above zero, we can change the reference for that target. So what we can do is we go under the sparkline graph and go to access and from our maximum data value, we can say custom value, and we'll say 40, right? If that's the case, now we'll see that our 40 is the target point. Now, the one thing about this, it kind of skews the graph a little bit. What we can do is increase the height. Let me increase the height here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And also another thing we can do is we can give it markers to give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more visual appeal. So I can click on on the markers here. I'm I'm in the sparkline cell here. I'll just click on the markers, and now you can see the markers where the points are laid out. 39 is very close to 40, so it's almost touching it. If I change this back to or above 40, if I change this to above 40, make it change it back to 45. Now you notice that that line has gone back above 45 because the sparkline graph is reflecting the data here at 5, right? But the, the shape of the line is still the same if we chart it like th with this data or if we chart it with this data. The shape of the line is still the same. Now, what we can do is we can hide this data. I'll go ahead and select this column, right click, and just select hide. So if we were to show this in a mini dashboard, at least that part will show up. But you've noticed that since I've hidden those columns, the spark line seems to have disappeared. Well, that's just a setting that I can change. I'll go under, I select the spark line cell, go under design and under edit data and select hidden and empty cells and check this particular box, show data in hidden rows or columns. So I click OK, that line shows back up now. Uh, I think what I can do here now is also add borders here to make it look a little bit consistent, right? So there is our sparkline graph that also has a target line graph. So I have a target here, and it's just using another reference cell to simulate a uh, target line. In essence, it's simulating a combination chart or actual versus target type of scenario for a combination chart. So there's the way that we can create a sparkline chart with a target line. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.